Uh, how big a test is a game like that, Taylor? Uh, all of them are big tests. You know, when you get in the Big 12, every every game is a big test, so definitely for our team. And, and uh, they got a really nice team that done a really good job, not only with this team, but the program. So it'll be a major challenge for us. No, no one's found a way to beat them yet. What's y'all's sort of game plan or any good tricks up your sleeve? Uh, it's not about tricks. It's about solid fundamental play, and, and uh, we definitely haven't exhibited that enough to to the point to this point. Uh, and that's what we're working on daily to try to try to exhibit those fundamental skills, and, and uh, so that you don't have to resort to tricks. Um, you know, a lot of talk about their front line, but their guard play has been really solid. Is, you know, is this a balance between those guys have played, obviously? Well, it's about far the best team we played, and, and, and uh, I mean, they, they're undefeated for a reason. Their number three or four in the country for a reason, and, and uh, they played very well. They've, they've been tested. they played very good teams. They've, they've been on the road some. they played in neutral sit, uh, situations, and, and uh, they continue to grow their program. So I have a great deal of admiration for them, but I, I doubt if they thought that the guard play was going to be this good this early. You know, you had some new guys coming in and uh, that have played extremely well, and I think they knew they were talented, but I don't know if anyone would have thought that played this well this early. But you know, again, when you have guys on the front line like they do, and they've got as many as anyone in the country, then if you are a guard, you're probably going to have a little breathing room to be able to to do a little bit better a little bit sooner. So, uh, you, as good as the guards will play, you have to give so much credit to the front line because you have to pay so much attention to them. How good to play, Jones? He's he's a pro. I mean, he's he's a great player, and uh, he continues to develop. And, uh, he's he's a great player. He's gotten be much better than he was last year. And he was a very good player. He probably could have been the first or second or third player selected last year. And he decided to come back, and, and uh, that's great for them and bad for all of us. But uh, he's a, he's a pro. He'll be in the NBA for a long time. You've been you've been all over in the Big Twelve being in Texas. How much of an but how much of an eye opening experience was it for some of your younger guys and, and the true freshmen? Uh, well, this Wednesday. They, I don't I don't think it was an eye opening experience, and not to be. Uh, not to disagree or anything, but they didn't have any home crowd, and, and that's, that wasn't a typical Big 12 uh, road game, you know, because normally the students are going to be back and they're going to be screaming hateful things to you and, and those things. That wasn't really the case on Wednesday night, and, and uh, so uh, our first, you know, they, they beat us, and you know, we definitely didn't want that to happen, but as far as the first taste of Big 12 on the road, that wasn't quite exactly what we're going to see the rest of the conference play, I would assume. They've kind of become the model of up-and-coming programs uh, in this league. Taylor, uh, they've done a good job, you know, and uh, they've done a fantastic job. And as far as a model, I don't know. Uh, there's not too many teams that play exactly the way they do, and you know, they've got a niche. They found a, a different way to play, and it's been very, very successful. I don't know how many people try to model uh, what they're doing after them, but the most important thing that you should model. And that we will try to model to recruit like they have. They did an unbelievable job of recruiting. Once they get them there, they, they coach them very well, and that's why they've been winning. Were you, were you pleased? I mean, I know not satisfied, but were you pleased with the rebounding improvement at all on Wednesday? Uh, yeah, but, but uh, yeah, I, I, want a guy, I want guys that are going to rebound when you're four points behind or when you're six points ahead or whatever, not when you're 12 points behind. And, and uh, we got all the rebounds that we needed to down the stretch and made a couple of errors in judgment defensively or lapses or whatever you may want to call them uh, but we put ourselves in a, in a position to win because we were more efficient offensively against the zone and man when they started playing man uh, but we got ourselves in such a hole when when our offense started stinking we got off to a really good start but when our offense started stalling and stinking then we didn't defend like we needed to and didn't defend at all they were dunking balls and, and we couldn't get them stopped before we had a, too much of a deficit to overcome has that kind of been i mean talk about the team doesn't have a lot of margin for error so avoiding those like stretches where you, they just kind of lapse defensively is something that you guys obviously have to deal with. Well I mean you're, every team's going to have lapses especially we did an unbelievable job on page. I mean as good as you could possibly do for 37 minutes but the most important time of the game when we were right there uh, the most important time we didn't execute defensively like we needed to it didn't compete like we needed to as far as making sure there's one guy on this court that's going to beat us and we didn't stop and, and so that's a we, we have to do a better job of understanding who that guy is and, or who those guys are and execute like we need to compete like we need to and make sure it doesn't happen again feel any elevated 
excitement level within the team because it's the number four team in the country and all that? I, I don't think so. I think it's just Big 12 play, and that's no disrespect to them. I, uh, it, it's all the Big 12 teams. We uh, we were excited on Wednesday. We'll be excited tomorrow. And uh, as far as the elevated excitement, these games are fun. This this is the best league in the country. It's the only league get, that you get to play everyone twice, and, and uh, so I'm really excited about Big 12 play in general. Uh, not any not point to any specific game. Uh, wherever it is, you know, we, we'll play them wherever, and, and uh, you know they'll play us wherever. So uh, that's the way the schedule puts it. We should we are excited about tomorrow's game, and hopefully we'll have a great crowd and help us on if we do our job. And we know that they're going to be coming in here undefeated, excited. It's the best they've ever started in history, I believe, at the school. And, and so you know that they're gonna, we're going to get their best shot, but we have to give them our. Give them our I never thought we'd lose, uh, especially when we got going. Uh, I told our team uh, when we got it down to four, we're going to win the game. If we don't foul, we rebound. And uh, we were getting every rebound, like Nick had said earlier. And, and uh, uh, we immediately come out of the timeout and foul and just give them two free points. We can't do that because they were having a hard time scoring. And then uh, just a couple of defensive plays, and that's all it takes in Big 12. There's not enough margin for error for us, but or for any team. You know, you can't do that. The last three or four minutes of the game, that's what all these conference games come down to, and you have to execute with discipline, and we didn't do that. But I thought that we were going to win the game. I, I never, uh, even, even when things weren't going that, that great for us, I thought that we still had a great chance to win the game because I think that, I, I, I think that we should have won the game. What's the top thing you have to do on Saturday to beat the do better in every aspect. You have to get back in transition. We didn't uh, give Oklahoma State much. We gave them a little bit in the first half, but not much. You got to get back in transition. You have to get your defense set. You have to guard. You have to execute defensively. Uh, play together defensively. You have to rebound the basketball and then limit your turnovers and, and ex execute on offense. It's a very fundamental plan. It's not very fun for you to ask that question and me to answer it like that, but that's just the way I see it.